LA County is ending its mask mandate as of tomorrow. CDC has assigned LA County to the low community risk level, but masks will still be required in some areas. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes is live now with the details. Rob? Ellen, tomorrow's masking change in L.A. County won't affect schools, at least not for another week. Meantime, the NFL becomes the first major sports league to dump COVID protocols. L.A. County's public health department calls it a post-surge response plan, but many will simply see it as a chance to drop facial coverings in most indoor settings starting once the clock hits midnight. I'm pleased to share that as of today, CDC has assigned L.A. County to the low community risk level. Masks will still be required on public transit in long-term health care facilities, correctional facilities, as well as homeless and emergency shelters. The mask requirement in schools and daycare centers is slated to end a week later on March 12th, but districts can establish their own requirements if they want. L.A. County's move to ease masking restrictions comes after a dramatic drop in hospitalizations. Latest infection rates down as well. One out of every 80 test results reported to us were positive. Compare that to one out of every four at the beginning of the year. California releasing its latest statewide pandemic stats, showing more than 83% of our population is now vaccinated, nearly 72 million of the shots administered. <laughs> Universal Studios theme park getting ahead of the change, announcing today that starting Friday, guests will no longer be required to wear facial coverings or show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test in order to get into the park. Universal still strongly recommending guests wear masks when indoors at the park. And nationwide, the NFL is dropping all its COVID protocols. The league making that announcement today after two years of restrictions. The change affects players and fans, though teams are still required to comply with any local restrictions. Now, even though most masking requirements are going away, state and county health officials are all still strongly recommending people mask up in high-risk settings. Reporting live, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.